Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on arrays topic is Pythagorean triplet. The question states that given an array of n integers, write a function that returns true if there is a triplet a, b, c such that it satisfies the condition a square plus b square is equal to c square. Otherwise, return false. Let's have a look at the examples. In example 1, the array size is 5 and the array elements are 3, 2, 4, 6, 5. So in this particular array, we have a triplet uh, 3, 4 and 5 which satisfy the condition 3 square plus 4 squares is equal to 5 square. Therefore, the output is S. In example 2, the array size is 3 and the array elements are 3, 8, 5. In this array, we don't have a triplet uh, which satisfy the Pythagorean triplet property. Therefore, the output here is no. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider the same example as given in the question where the size of the array is 5 and the array elements are 3, 2, 4, 6, 5. Let's declare few variables namely L, R, num and sum. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm to solve this particular problem where we first sort the array. So the array is sorted in ascending order and then we run a for loop from i is equal to n minus 1 to i is greater than 1 that is from last element to the third element and then we calculate the value of l as 0 and r as i minus 1. We also calculate num value as a of i into a of i uh, which is 36 and then we run a while loop for the condition l is less than r. Since 0 is less than 3 therefore we calculate the value of sum as a of l into a of l plus a of r into a of r that is 2 into 2 plus 5 into 5 which is 29 and we check whether if sum value is equal to num since sum is not equal to num we check whether if sum is greater than num since uh, 29 is not greater than 36 therefore we increment the value of l and again we check whether if l is less than r since 1 is less than 3 therefore again we calculate the value of sum as 34 check whether if 34 is equal to 36 since it is not neither it is neither 34 is greater than 36 therefore again we increment l now l points to 4 and again we check whether if 2 is less than 3 therefore we calculate the new value of sum as 41 we check whether if sum is equal to num since 41 is greater than 36 therefore we decrement the value of r and again check whether if l is less than r since 2 is not less than 2 therefore we end the while loop and decrement the value of i now i points to the index 3 or the element 5 we initialize l value to 0 and r to i minus 1 and calculate the value of num as 25 then we check whether if l is less than r since 0 is less than 2 therefore we calculate the value of sum as 20 check whether if 20 is equal to 25 since 20 is not equal to 25 nor it is greater than 25 therefore we increment the value of l now l points to the index 1 and again 1 is less than 2 therefore we calculate the new value of sum as 25 and we check whether if sum is equal to num since 25 is equal to 25 therefore we return true so now let's begin with the actual code as we have seen in the explanation part First we sort the array A in ascending order and after that we declare few variables namely L, R, num and sum and then we run a for loop from i is equal to n minus 1 to i is greater than 1 and we initialize the value of L as 0, R as i minus 1. and we calculate the value of num as a of i into a of i and then we run a while loop for the condition l is less than r where we calculate the value of sum as a of l into a of l plus a of r into a of r and we check whether if sum value is equal to num 
if so then we directly return true else we check whether if the value of sum is greater than num if some value is greater than num then we decrement the value of r else we increment the value of l and finally we can return false and that's it we are done with the code we can compile it now the code is compiled successfully so we can submit it and a code got submitted successfully so if you found the video helpful do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparation thank you